Uh, thank you for coming. Okay, we have a presentation. Uh, I would like to talk about the process, actually, uh, that we are facing now in our activities in Poland and in our, uh, in our company. Uh, it's, it won't be a technical presentation. Uh, I, uh, I, I hope I will keep it short and we will have time for discussion because I would like to know how looks the situation in your companies, in your countries, or uh, if we are uh, facing the same problems or not. But uh, yeah, so sorry for the minimalistic presentations, but I hate making slides, so it will be very, very simple. And it is just six slides, so it will be uh, short. Okay, so the context of the situation, I would like to, um, to, to, to make it clear that we are not a very big company. We are small uh, GIS consulting and a little bit IT uh, content company from Poland. So we employ like 20 people and we are working also with small companies with uh, a small administration uh, not just uh, not like on the on the national level or or, uh, or, or so on so the situation what uh, I am talking about uh, about the, the, the transformation of GIS enthusiast into the administration uh, uh, mainly is focused on the small companies like uh, water networks or uh, uh, real estate company or uh, companies that are looking for uh, parcels for uh, renewable uh, energy. And <clears throat> the second thing what is also very important to emphasize is that in Poland we have a, like a boom in GIS and uh, almost everybody is interested in it. Why? Uh, because the, it starts like eight or six years ago that our administration started to open the data sets and they are doing it very fast and very um, uh, in a good manner because there are geo portals, you have uh, the uh, services of displaying information and so on, but also almost everything you can download in, in, and, uh, and do it you know, on your own way. And what is important as well, that uh, people are coming into the GIS, not let's say from university where when they were uh, talked how to uh, use, for example, QGIS or ArcGIS or whatever. They've just seen somewhere that some that people are doing great maps. They are uh, having better decision making based on those open data, and they want to do the same thing. So it's. Uh, for us, it's a little bit uh, hard, especially during trainings, because like five years ago, we had uh, people coming from geography faculty, from spatial planning, and uh, those kind of, let's say, GIS-related uh, industries. So now we have uh, on, the, on the trainings like mathematicians, uh, sociologists, politologists, and people that do not know the concept. So this is also part of the problem, I will, I will say it later. So uh, this is the, props, the process that we are observing, that uh, after the uh, opening of that spatial data, uh, uh, the GIS become very, let's say, um, important to businesses because they see that they can make a profit because of this. So. Uh, how it started. So, for example, if someone in, in the board said, okay, we need the GIS, so what we are doing, we are hiring someone who knows GIS. So, probably this is a young person uh, who, um, who comes with QGIS to the company. And at the beginning, everybody is super happy because even someone very young with not, not exactly, uh, with not a very big expertise can do a magic with a data. Uh, at the beginning, for example, looking for a parcels or downloading the, the, the whole districts and making a um, quick search, uh, or for example, task that let's check if there is a parcel without the uh, natural protection, without the forest that is uh, between 50 or 70 or uh, 100 hectares big. It, it used to be like a week of 
uh, searching with QGIS and open data. You can do it in like a three minutes and make a mm, super fine uh, profit. So at the beginning, everybody is super happy uh, because of that. And the GIS person is making like a lots and tons of maps in PDFs and they are sending it via email uh, to the people. And like after, let's say three months, they Excuse me. They see that the process is not not working very well because uh, the email become the main database in the company, and the GIS person is frustrated that uh, uh, is making very repeatable jobs all the time, and it's kind of stupid jobs at the at the end because they are creating PDFs. That yeah, this is my favorite story that. Uh, uh, someone asked for the report about the parcel and GIS person made it and then send it via email and after three days he has a question to say okay let's check uh, uh, also if it's a fl flooded zone or not. He said come on it's just a few clicks to, to, to check it out and I don't want to do it for you do it yourself on the uh, using software and then the idea of uh, training everybody in the company of using QGIS uh, came up, and of course everybody is, is super happy because of that. Because of that, and they are or organizing the, <coughs> uh, uh, the the training, and at the end of the training, everybody knows that it won't uh, works. Why? Because the uh, entry barrier, yeah, that, that I was searching, searching for that word. For that word. Uh, entry barrier uh, for QGIS is growing and management and people in selling and other non-GIS enthusiasts, I would say, uh, they refuse of, of using QGIS because it's hard. Let's face it, I know that we are in the QGIS user conference and we uh, all know QGIS very well, but the rest of the world also exists <laughs> and they they afraid of QGIS. Yeah? I've heard like tons of explanations because there is too many icons. This is a map, uh, uh, map uh, uh, software and when I started there is no map inside. and. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's all the projections or the file format or even the, the la concept of the layers, it won't work. So uh, there is a need because people also see the geo portals, so they are trying to um, they are trying to find the solution for uh, making GIS more accessible in the in the company. So they are looking for web GIS or uh, or they are ending up in, in, in different software like a Google Maps somehow or GIS person is um, creating KMLs and so on and so on. But there is the beginning of the problem. So GIS person has to somehow organize GIS in the company. There is no, uh, let's say in, in small or, or even medium companies, there is no uh, time money and first of all understanding of uh, of the problem that it is a complex uh, uh, complex issue to solve especially for for person that has that is uh, is a spatial planner or geographer so uh, it, it, it it's the, the beginning of the problem that GIS person become responsible for creating GIS for the whole uh, company and uh, yes, and this is this is uh, the, the the part of the problem. Uh, growing entry barrier I, I mentioned about before. Uh, existing open so, so, so open source solutions are not enough. Uh, I remember in 2016 in uh, where was it in Girona in Barcelona on the user conference, Paolo was uh, talking to everybody that we should focus on creating just one uh, uh, web solutions for, uh, for, for everybody, like everybody is using GIS, the uh, QGIS as a desktop software. So we as a community has to, um, has to 
create the software that will be also fit for uh, everyone. And as we see, there is a plenty of software, uh, open source, not open source, and it's 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 not a solution actually, because um, uh, people. That, that's my observation. That people uh, thinking about WebGIS solutions uh, as a usual. Uh, website like a WordPress web website that it's, it's so comfortable configurable without tons with uh, tons of uh, plugins that you can do actually whatever you want so um, people are uh, looking for simple solutions and we know that especially with the web GIS there is no simple solutions because it's complex uh, sometimes it's like uh, tons of data sometimes uh, plenty of users and everybody wants like a one magic tool for making uh, the, the, the uh, solutions for, for, for the problems yeah and mm, coming back to that to the, the GIS person that has a problem uh, very often that 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 uh, especially young guy usually uh, is becoming like a responsible for the whole architecture so, so someone with a background in spatial planning has to be like has to talk and think and uh, and uh, design uh, databases and all those uh, uh, permissions and uh, also talking about servers and become uh, the specialist in uh, talking with IT about security and the volume on the database and so on and they don't have a um, expertise in that and uh, but but uh, they very often they have to uh, work somehow so uh, so that's the moment where they are looking for the support and um, very often uh, coming to us and they are asking how to how to uh, design the uh, the um, architecture that uh, uh, will um, uh, enforce our solutions in the company to have a goal and of course lack of understanding from IT departments everybody is complaining about IT departments <laughs> especially when you have to uh, implement something so uh, lesson learned so far um, because we are helping uh, those companies in, in that moment we are designing the uh, solutions we are implementing sometimes it's all uh, easy geo portal sometimes it's um, a simple uh, database and uh, sometimes it's our uh, let's say non open source uh, software so i will not uh, mention the name but yes we are uh, we are producing it so first of all we need to uh, design processes in the companies so everybody starts thinking about GIS, uh, implementing GIS about uh, starting from thinking uh, um, about the software we are going to use it, it will be a open source or S3 software none this is more or less the same but if you don't have a working procedures uh, any software will create a mess actually so we have to start uh, from uh, from uh, designing the process and procedures in the uh, in the uh, in the in the companies the second thing is that it is not dedicated software it is something new because uh, i would say that one uh, since one year i start to observe that that companies don't want to have uh, dedicated software they are asking for solutions that will be uh, like uh, implemented and thank you and uh, working from the beginning uh, probably that's because um, they have their own uh, um, expertise in implement in uh, ordering dedicated software they know that it's very uh, uh, expensive from the beginning and also the maintaining of dedicated software is very uh, very uh, non-cost effective I would say so they are asking about the, 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 the solutions so uh, yeah solutions not uh, development the third thing uh, I don't know who, who wrote in on uh, LinkedIn recently but your job in GIS is to create value 
people are not interested in if it's open source or, or it is Esri or whatever. Uh, the price of the of the um, of the software or of the the whole complex uh, um, solution implemented in the company uh, depends on the value it creates for the company. So price become more and more uh, relevant. So uh, it, it's it's in GIS. It's not about making beautiful maps. It it's it's about making maps that create value for the uh, for the company. And four things is that WebGIS is is considered as a, any other website. Uh, this is, yeah, I, I mentioned uh, before about this that it's uh, not. Uh, we are considering WebGIS as a, some, something complicated. People think that it is just a website like any others. So uh, there is a demand of the features that they have, the, 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 they think that uh, it is there. And it's also very complicated because uh, it's hard to fulfill the uh, needs with uh, simple lease map or uh, QG web. I don't remember the name. So, because it's it's not uh, so fitable to, to to someone's needs. So yes, uh, I don't know how it will end up uh, and uh, um, where will it go actually. But uh, the the the, few, the important is that everybody s starts from QGIS. But what will be next? It's not so easy to uh, to implement, and uh, we have to be aware that uh, in the future, uh, more and more uh, solutions will be, let's say, um, not bought by the company from from outside, but will be implemented by the company itself, and uh, sometimes with uh, someone else's help. Or whatever, yeah. So, thank you. I thought I thought that it will be shorter, but uh, I think that we have like at one minute for a discussion or for for uh, for a questions. But um, is it the same in your uh, companies or in your places where you are working? Uh, it works like like that. That yes, you have the same situation. Okay, you you guys, you're thinking all the time, so I see that you understand me <laughs> and my pain <laughs> and the pain of uh, others, yes? And what's your lesson learned about the, the situation? <laughs> or, excuse me? Okay, yeah. Sometimes they will understand how to how to uh, your needs and yeah okay, and your lesson learned yeah. I think for me at least it's um, similar to what you found that people don't care about the technicalities. It's they want the solution. So for me a big lesson learned was how do you talk to for example middle or upper management. Yeah. You don't bring up, we need A or B, you just go, do you want it or not? And then the price and everything else, don't ask questions and make them want it. And then they leave you more room for you to decide. Yeah. But if you ask them, we should do this because it's open source, you might get a pushback immediately. Oh, what about the support yeah. and all the technicalities? And in the end, you ask yourself, why, why did I even bring it up? Yeah, uh, last week I had the situation that someone asked me about very simple things that uh, I don't care what kind of software is it, but I want to have like every information about the parcel on one click. And okay, it seems super easy, but in GIS everything is in different layers, so it's not so easy to 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 uh, explain someone that okay. I know your need, but it is GIS, and you have to in different layers, and you have to check this, check this, and that. Yeah, so so uh, yeah, so it's 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 easy. So if there is no question more, I will be around, and also uh, during the evening. Uh, no question, just comment. I don't need this. <laughs> uh, yeah.
Okay, so um, j uh, answering your question, wh what's my uh, takeaway? Like, I can relate to the problem. I don't know if you have a, a all-around uh, solution. Mm -hmm. We don't. Um, I have 30 users, uh, in theory, in my company. Out of five are trained in, in uh, QGIS to some way, and we massively struggle with uh, a problem of having a infrastructure kind of thing, which was started, but it's not working well, so I have to, like, re try to redeploy everything mm -hmm. without any IT background knowledge. So that's, uh, yeah, yeah. I have all the problems to list yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, cool, yeah. Not cool, but uh, you have, we have to face it. And I think that in the future there will be more and more that kind of problems. That uh, uh, it is not like, a, that especially like 10 or 15 years ago, uh, companies were buying GIS from, from the company and everybody was trained, it was a lot of money and uh, uh, the processes were uh, relatively simple. But now everybody, everything has to be uh, implemented quicker. Uh, the uh, situation is changing because new data are coming, new uh, new people, and also rotation of people is a problem because someone is trained and just go uh, go out from the company and what? There is a problem. Yeah. All right. The one uh, very quick question. I, I was just going to say this is this is very much my exact experience right now, and uh, one of the things that we struggle with is that there are real IT limitations. So sometimes these top-of-the-line best solutions are not actually the best solutions because they're limited in their capability of expanding. So a lesson learned from my part is that there are sometimes that the smaller solutions or they're complex ideas, but if you can distill it into a simpler experience for the user, that that's also a really good solution because at least it gets them in the right direction. And then later on when their organization catches up, they can move to a better infrastructure. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay. All right. I think uh, we don't have more time. So uh, thank you very much for the presentation and uh, food for thought. And uh, who's next? Sorry. Who is next? Uh, uh, okay. And we have a small present for you. Thank so you thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.